My name is Michael Clampett. I'm the Asset Management Executive at Attac Limited, uh, listed JC Reed. At Attac, uh, we feel that sometimes, you know, we have to do a bit more for the communities that we do serve. And those communities include our clients, uh, the retailers. The intention really is to um, uh, share some information, uh, things that are relevant. What are we going to interact on and what are we going to talk about today? What I've got up here is a slide indicating uh, South Africa's uh, GDP since about 1965. And what you will immediately notice is that it's quite cyclical. And what you should also probably notice is that there are a couple of times when the GDP figure actually goes below zero and negative. And really, we sit in this business environment where there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, you can have a look at some of the um, the reasons for that uncertainty. So with the so with the riots in '76, the gold price crash had a big impact on, on on the economy and maybe also some retail businesses. Prior to becoming a democracy, the uncertainty in terms of the transition. We had the global financial crisis in 2007 and 2008. And more lately, uh, we've been dealing with the COVID pandemic and the uh, lockdowns that have played out worldwide, uh, impacting uh, gross to mid, uh, domestic product. So why are we setting the scenes? Uh, the two business leaders I'm going to introduce today have probably seen most of it. And they've been through these cycles, they've built businesses. And what we want to talk about today is simply how they did it. And hopefully there's something in that for our attendees to take something from this conversation that they could apply to their own retail businesses uh, as we head into the festive season and maybe give us all a little bit of hope uh, for, for good trade going forward. I'd like to introduce uh, Philip Kravitz. Philip is the executive chairman of the Cape Union Mart Group. That business was started in 1953, so you will notice that it's prior to that little graph that I've just showed you. And Philip took over in about 1970 as the head of that business. Uh, subsequently, that business now trades over 300 stores in South Africa or the bigger Southern Africa. Uh, and they include brands like Cape Union Mart, Old Kaki, uh, Poetry Kido, and Trino Miller. Our second uh, panelist today is Leon Lawrence. Uh, Leon is the Chief Executive Officer of the Pepcor Group. Uh, and Leon joined Pepcor in 1990, and since that date, uh, he's been MD of various divisions uh, within Pepcor. If you look at, at Pep, you know, started in 1965 by Renier van der Rooyen, you know, they have over 5,500 retail outlets currently. They employ, uh, the last time I checked the website, over 47,000 people. So certainly the business that's grown through all of these cycles, all of these potential economic downturns, and they've still managed to build uh, a big empire. And thank you so much for joining us today and sharing uh, some of your wisdom with us.